Hi guys, how you doing? This is Q coming to you from DIY Genesis. And I'm really excited today to bring you guys this tutorial about this wonderful tool called Local. Now this tool is really designed to build your WordPress sites locally on your machine before you deploy it to your server, to your hosting server. So I'm excited about this tool because this is gonna be something I'm gonna be using in my development flow process going forward. And I wanted to share it with you guys so you can see just how efficient this is gonna be. So I'm getting started with this for the first time today, and I think this is really a great tool. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and download it, and we can choose a platform here. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna choose Mac. You choose your appropriately and, and set it up. Um, I'm gonna fill in my name. I'm gonna go through that process. I'm gonna fill in my email address, and I'll put in my phone number and say get it now. And so now you see it's ready to download. We're gonna go through and download the, uh, this, uh, this install here. And we're gonna save it, yep. We're gonna replace that. We're gonna go ahead and do that install. Okay, so now we've got it installed. We're gonna click on open. So it goes ahead and opens it and does an, an install. And once it finishes this, okay, now it's gonna ask me to drag this into the applications folder. Okay, it's drug into that. So now it's doing this install into the applications folder. Okay, great, we're done with the install at this point. So I can go ahead and close that. And I can close this. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna bring up Spotlight and I'll type in local for the app. And in this case, I'm gonna get the local app and I hit enter. And that should bring up the tool so we're just waiting for it to come up right now and it's verifying and there it is and we're gonna hit open and here we go. Environment's ready to go. So in my case, I already have a site that I had already originally gone through and done, but I wanted you guys to see just how easy this really is so if we really wanted to go in and, and let's just say we want to add a new site. So let's just call it test. And you can look at some of the advanced options to see you know, if there's something else you really want to do here. But we're not going to do that today. We're going to hit continue. You're going to go with a preferred environment or you can do a custom environment if you need a specific database or PHP version. You can go in and select it, but we're going to go with preferred. We're going to hit continue. And you can set up your username you can set up your password right here. In this case, we're gonna just say uh, test underscore admin, and then we'll just create our little simple password. And then we'll go in the email address that you want this to go to. And in this case, I was gonna go to my email address and advanced, advanced options. If this is a multi-site, you can set that up as well. We're not, and we're gonna hit add site. And you guys are gonna see just how fast this is, how easy it is to get this set up. And of course, it's gonna ask me to do that password to sign in here to verify that I have permission to install. And voila, the site is added. And this is beautiful, guys. Let me tell you, when you hit view site, it brings your site up. You got the first little generic install of the theme automatically. And then if we go back to local again, we can see the admin. So it brings up the admin screen so we can sign into the back office. We can go in and make all these changes. And this is all running local guys, which is amazing because everything's set up and ready to go. And so I'm gonna do some additional tutorials of showing us how to connect to the host because that's gonna allow us to connect to whatever server we have to begin to push our files out. So it makes it really easy to get things out and going and running, but you can also develop locally not have to worry about the back and forth FTP that I know that I've had to deal with. So now I'm dealing with something that's going to be really powerful and really effective. And this is exciting, guys. So I hope you guys found value in this tutorial, guys. And I, again, I ask you again, guys, to keep hitting that like button, keep hitting that, that subscribe button, and definitely hit the notification bell so that you guys can get notified every time we do new videos and come out with new stuff. You guys are going to be the first ones to get it. So thanks again, guys. And until next time, this is Q from DIY Genesis.